In this module, we're going to look at wireless, and in order to do that, I want to begin with the standards. Now, we really haven't looked at standards very much throughout the course, but we're uh, going to be looking at 802.11 standard, and then later on, as you can see on this next page, the 802.15 standard. Now, the 802 project is by the IEEE standardizing body, and it's a group of all sorts of, um, of networking standards. For example, Ethernet is 802.3. Let's just take a look over here at the uh, IEEE 802 uh, Wikipedia page and you'll see that it's a, a family of standards dealing with local area networks and metropolitan area networks. If we go down here and look, we'll see Ethernet down here. Those are the plugged in ones at 802.3. We'll see the wireless LAN, which is uh, Wi-Fi, for example, at 802.11, and then the wireless PANs, or personal area networks, down here at 802.15. And then you can see several subcategories under that, such as Bluetooth and Zigbee and so forth. Even body area networks, such as smart watches and so forth, down at uh, 15.6. Let's go ahead and go over to the IEEE site. This is the home page at the IEEE. And we can either go to standards here, or we can go up here to the top and click standards. Either way, we'll go to the same place. And we have to wait for a moment for it to load. Things seem to be going real slow right now. One thing I want you to notice is over here, by standards. And I'm going to click that and open it in a new tab and just take a look at that page. Because what I want you to notice is these standards are not free. You can't just download them. Uh, they cost anywhere from several hundred to up in the thousands of dollars in some cases. So uh, we can't just download a standard easily off the internet. Uh, let's take a look then at uh, some of the standards. Uh, let's go over here. I'm going to click the standards button over here on the on the left. And I guess we didn't go to a new page when I did that. I will just type 802.11 up here in the search. We'll see what we find. Again, it's a little bit slow for some reason today. I don't know why uh, this is going so slow. And then what type of content do I want? Well, I want the standard content. I want to just see what I can learn about the various standards. And let's look at 802. I'll say 802.9. I, I need to uh, um, filter this a little bit so I don't get too many results. So I'm just going to go to, go to excuse me, going to go to the 1999 standard, which it actually was the 802.11b, by the way. And you can see I've got 15 or 54 results. Uh, and uh, several of them mention standard. Again, this went back to all. I'm not sure why. Let me click standard again. I don't know if it'll change my number of results or not. Yeah, 43 results. So these are some of the standards, and here's the 802.11.1999 standard. Uh, 11A also came out in 1999, so we'll be taking a look at some of those. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one, and you'll see, well, it's been superseded. So there is a newer one, the 2007, and then here's several amendments. You may recognize some of these, A, B, G, uh, and so on. Uh, let me click... Uh, the 2007 one that superseded it. And let's see if we can learn just about this standard and what we have here. Well, what we're given is not very much information. We have some information about the working group that worked uh, worked on these things, uh, the sponsoring committee and so forth. But we really don't have a lot of, of information here. So um, you can get some interpretations let me uh, let me go back again for a minute and uh, see if I can get yeah here here's a interpretations page and if I open that you'll see that what we get is some questions and answers interpretation interpretation the 802.11.1999 and you see that we'll have questions and answers interpretation requests one and then response one where people have asked questions over time uh, this is about 12 pages long and then uh, gotten some some interpretation uh, responses so that's about what we can tell about the standards from here so we really have to rely on other sources or uh, purchase those standards in order to learn more about them 
Well, that's probably more about standards than you ever wanted to know. So I'm going to cut this video off here. But just be aware uh, that we have these standards. And the reason we have them is so that different uh, devices will work together. So, for example, if I have a, a Netgear and a D-Link wireless router, I know that they can talk to each other because they both follow these standards. That's it for this one.